Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I uh, want to just briefly tell you, I'm sometimes asked, how come you're a Muslim? And I tell them, well, God showed me that I'm a Muslim. For the first 35 years of my life, I was a disbeliever. I knew there is no God, I didn't see any need for God, and I didn't believe in God. But ever since I was small, I was interested in science. And as my knowledge of science grew, 25 years ago, in basically a flash, I came to the conclusion that the universe is so perfectly made and everything so perfectly matches together that there must be God. So in one second I went from certainty there is no God to certainty there must be God and only one God. So I accepted there is God. I said, Hashhadu ala ilaha illallah. But I was not looking for a religion. I thought all religions are wrong. Christians say this is one. The Jews said, Jews are chosen people, and if you're not Jew, you're not, not, not chosen. And about Islam, I only had negative information. But I didn't want to stay ignorant about religions. So I said, okay, I, I read Bible. And I saw in the Bible there are places which you know come from God. You feel it in your heart. But you see there are places which come from man. Because this page says something that is opposite to the uh, thing that was said a few pages ago. So I knew that Bible was written by man many years after the prophets. And I bought a Quran, English translation of the Quran. And when I started reading it, I started reading it with the same idea that just like Bible, it was written by man. Only in this case we know the name of the man, Muhammad. And then when I was maybe about one third in Quran, I remember telling my wife, you know, this Muhammad, he must have been a very smart, very intelligent man because this book is very clear, very logical, very easy to follow and there are no contradictions. But then as I read later, I suddenly saw a scientific fact which I knew was only discovered in the 20th century. So immediately I saw that Muhammad is not the author of the Quran. That Muhammad is a messenger sent by God to give the Quran to mankind. I saw Mashallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. So I said, Mashallah, I'm a Muslim. And, and people asked me, well, how did you react? You said you heard bad things about Muslims, you didn't know anything about Islam. How did you react? Did you want to be Muslim? And I said, I had no choice. Because when I was born, I was a baby. I didn't know I'm different from my mother. Then a little bit later I knew my mother is somebody else and when she's gone I cry because I was afraid she's gone. But I still didn't know what I am. And then one day I suddenly start, Mashallah, I'm a boy. <laughs> and nobody asked me, what, what did you do? Did you want to be a boy? No, because we know we don't have a choice. God makes us this. So, Mashallah, when that was the greatest blessing on my wife, uh, of my life. I have wonderful family, I have wonderful children, wife, everything. But the greatest blessing was that God showed me his guidance. And when I pray, I make dua, God, please let me die as a believer. Let me never disbelieve again. And a little while ago, I heard somebody here who was concerned that maybe the signs that are discovered in the Quran may be wrong. Uh, we should have a committee to see if the signs are right. God says in the Quran, we demonstrate our miracles to those who attain certainty. So, so my answer is, when you have strong iman and you have knowledge of the scientific facts, 
when you see it in the Quran, you don't have to worry, is it right or is it wrong? It will jump out at you, it will hit you. And you will say, Mashallah, this is a sign from God. And you want to make such da because you feel very humble. Because you know, this is the truth. There is no false signs, no wrong signs, because this book is from God and He doesn't make any mistakes. In closing, I would like to thank the organizers for making this conference possible. I would like to thank you for your attention. Shukran jazilan and salamun alaikum. Shukran ala kinnamikum wa salamun alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.